Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbera. This is AP Physics Chapter 9, Rotation of Rigid Bodies, Video 2. Today's topic is rotation with constant angular acceleration. The objectives are know the equations of rotation with constant angular acceleration, be able to apply the equations to solve rotational kinematic problems. First, let's check the equations. So this chart gives you two sets of equations. On the left is straight line motion with constant linear acceleration. On the right is fixed axis rotation with constant angular acceleration. As you can see for each quantity that is in straight line motion, there is corresponding variable for the rotation, rotational motion. Ax is corresponding or z corresponding to vx, theta corresponding to x. So basically we have the same equation we simply substitute alpha, alpha z uh, substitute ax then v we substitute with omega omega z equals omega naught z plus alpha z times t and theta equals to theta naught plus omega naught t plus one half alpha z t squared. So we just simply substitute rotational variables. We have a set of rotational equations. Let's take a look at this first example. You have just finished watching a movie on DVD and the disc is slowing to a stop. Angular velocity of the disk at t equals to zero is 27.5 radian per second, and its angular acceleration is a constant negative 100 radians per second squared. A line PQ on the surface of the disk lies along the positive x axis at t equals to zero. What is the disk's angular velocity at t equals to 0.3 seconds? Now, I write down what is given to you. Here, 27.5 radians per second, that is the initial angular velocity. Negative 100 radians per second squared, that is your alpha. The other quantity you know is time. So use those three quantities. You need to find omega. You use this equation. Omega equals omega naught plus alpha t. Substitute the quantities. And you'll have omega equals 24.5 radian per second. Next the question is, what angle does the line PQ make with the positive x-axis at this time? Well, this is kind of corresponding to the distance. So there are many equations for this theta. We can use timeless equation to find theta since we know omega naught and omega. We also know alpha. Uh, the other equation we can find the theta is theta equals the theta naught plus omega t plus one half alpha t squared, since we know all the quantities in the equation. But I like to use this equation, omega equals average, I mean theta equals average omega times t. Since we know omega naught and omega, we can find average omega, we simply use that quantity multiplied by the time. So we have 7.8 radians. Now let's evaluate. The answer to part A shows that angular velocity has decreased from 27.5 to 24.5. This is as it should be since alpha is negative. We can also use other equations to determine theta to check our answers for part B. Let's take a look at another example. Angle theta through which a disk drive turns uh, is given by theta t equals to a plus b t minus c t cubed, where a, b, and c are constants. t is in seconds and theta is in radians. When t equals to zero, theta equals to pi over four radian, and angular velocity is two radians per second. When t equals to 1.5, the angular acceleration is 1.25 radians per second squared. Find a constants A, B, and C, including their units. To find A, we simply have to substitute theta at 0. Theta at 0 equals to pi over 4. So that means A equals to pi over 4 radian, because the second term and third term becomes a 0. 
So A equals to pi over 4 radian, right over here. Next one, to find B, we need to um, substitute information for angular velocity equals to 2 at omega t equals to 0. Omega 0. So to find omega 0, we have to derive omega. Omega equals to d theta over dt. So that gives you b minus 3c t squared. At t equals to 0, this term becomes 0. So omega 0 is just equals to b. That is 2 radian per second. Last one, in order to find c, we have to use this information at t equals to 1.5 seconds. Angular acceleration is 1.25. To find angular acceleration, we have to deriv do derivative d omega over dt. d omega over dt is negative 6c times t. So at t equals to 1.5, alpha at 1.5 equals negative 6c times 1.5, which 6 times 1.5 is negative 9c times uh the unit of this quantity is second, and that equals 1.25 radians per second squared, because that is the given condition. From here, we can find C. Well, C equals to 1.25 radian per second squared divided by 9 seconds. So you have C equals to negative 0.139 radians, radian per second cubed. Next one, what is the angular acceleration when theta equals pi over 4 radian? Well, uh, theta equals pi over 4 radian at a time t equals to 0. So acceleration at 0 is 0. So when theta equals pi over 4 radian, t equals to 0. Alpha 0 equals to 6c times 0 is just a 0. Next question, what are theta and angular velocity, which is omega 1 angular acceleration, is 3.5 radian per second squared? To find theta and angular velocity omega, we need to find the time. So we have to substitute this acceleration. So 1 is acceleration equals to 3.5 radian per second squared. We need to use acceleration expression. Alpha t equals to negative 6c times t. So 3.5 is negative 6 times c is negative 0 0.139 times t. So t equals to 4.2 seconds. So if we know t, we can substitute t in the first equation to find theta. Theta at 4.2 seconds equals to pi over 4. That's a plus b times t, right, minus c times t cubed you have 19.5 radian. To find omega at 4.2, we substitute into this expression, omega t equals to b minus 3ct squared. So omega 4 point at omega at 4.2 equals 2, minus 3 times negative 0 0.139 times 4.2 squared. That equals 9.39 radian per second. So that's how you determine the unknown quantities. Last one, check your understanding. Suppose the DVD in example 9.3 was initially spinning at twice the rate and slows down at twice the rate. So omega naught equals doubled and so is alpha doubled. So how do you compare the situation in example 9.3? Uh, how long would it take the DVD to come to a stop? Let's see, time equals the change omega divided by alpha. You comes to a stop, so omega final is 0 minus initial, which is omega divided by alpha. We know alpha, this omega should be omega naught. That doubled, and alpha is also doubled. So t remains the same. Next one, compare the situation in example 9.3. Through how, ma how many revolutions would the DVD rotate before it comes to a stop, right? Revolution is a theta. So theta equals average omega times t. Now it comes to a stop. Omega naught plus 0 divided by 2 times t. We know t is constant. t is the same. Omega naught doubled. So theta has to double. So it's twice as many revolutions. That's the answer. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.